Congressman John Boehner is the House Minority Leader. He joins us now. Congressman, welcome to you. I want to get your thoughts very quickly, if I can, on Max Baucus laying out the new plan. Now, White House says that it's a building block, a step in the right direction. Your thoughts? It looks like uh, the same kind of plan uh, that we see in the House. It's got a little bit different language, uh, but it's still a big government plan. Uh, it still calls for higher taxes and more spending. Uh, and I don't think uh, it's going to get enough support uh, to get very far in the United States Senate. You know, uh, one of the big questions, Congressman, that we get here, in fact, it's the major question, is that this is very confusing, all the health care thing. And the reason I think it's confusing is because the phrasing is constantly changing. The numbers are constantly changing. I want to play you some sound from President Obama. He has long said, uh, with regard to your health insurance, if you like what you have, you can keep it. But now the phrasing has changed. Listen. If you're one of nearly 46 million people who don't have health insurance, you will finally have quality, affordable options. There are now more than 30 million American citizens who cannot get coverage. That was the wrong sound, bite, but I want to get on that one if I can, because first of all, he said 46 million. We heard 46 million forever, and now he says 30 million. The first sound was from August. That was from September. Somewhere in between that month, Congressman, we lost 16 million uninsured Americans. Well, when you take out the illegal immigrants, it's estimated there are about 10 million uh, illegal immigrants who don't have health insurance in America. Uh, and then uh, maybe they didn't want to have a round number, and so they just dropped it to 30. Yeah. And the other thing, by the way, was the phrasing I was talking about, just so our audience is clear on this, is the president has long been saying that if you have health insurance that you like it, you can keep it. And now he's saying, and I'm quoting here, it would not require you to change insurance. That's a significant shift from you can keep it, it to it would not require to change. Go ahead. It, it is a significant shift, uh, but while there's nothing in the bill that would require you uh, to change health insurance, uh, let's look at what the bill does. Uh, it puts a big tax on employers. It puts requirements on employers in terms of what their employer-offered plan looks like. It has to be approved by the government. And it's clear to many of us uh, that many employers will drop their health coverage. And when they drop their health coverage, guess what? The employee has no place else to go other to, than to one of these government exchanges to try to get health insurance. Congressman Boehner, Martha Mc, thanks for being with us today. Uh, I, I want to switch gears a little bit and talk to you about this ACORN issue because we've had some breaking news on it in the last hour. Uh, and that is that ACORN has come out. Bertha Lewis, the spokeswoman for the organization, says, you know, we're going to stop taking in any new uh, referrals for housing. We're going to reevaluate the way that we do things. It's a very different tone. She's no longer saying that the tapes were edited or doctored, nothing along those lines. And now we have Robert Gibbs, the president's press secretary, who has just been asked about this. And he says conduct on these tapes is completely unacceptable. The administration takes accountability extremely seriously. And he goes on to talk about the fact that the Census Bureau will no longer use this group. Is, is ACORN crumbling before our eyes? What do you think? Well, I think federal funds for ACORN is crumbling before our eyes. And I'm going to congratulate uh, the president's press secretary for saying it's the way it is. Uh, this new announcement by ACORN means nothing. Uh, I would describe it as too little, mm -hmm. too late. Uh, this is an organization that beyond the housing funds they get, uh, they get voter registration funds. And we have to remember that 70 ACORN employees over the last few years in 12 states uh, have been convicted of voter fraud. Uh, this is a corrupt organization that does not deserve one dime of taxpayer funds. Do you think that we're going to see investigation by DOJ uh, into this? Do you think that will be signed off on and the FBI as well, as has been suggested? Uh, I would hope so. And I sent a letter along with 129 of my colleagues yesterday That's to right. the president uh, asking him uh, to make sure that no funds go to ACORN. Uh, and then well, we've introduced a bill today uh, that uh, would do the legislative language, would say the same thing. Enough's enough with this operation. H have you received any response uh, to your letter to the president? Not yet. All right. Congressman Boehner, as always, good to have you here, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks to be with you. Well, a high school football coach.